Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about double tick and Google Sheet integration. Basically, if you have a Google Sheet which contains your customer data, such as name, phone number, the customer group, their other customer details, such as customer status, whether they are paid customers or free customers, or the customer lead stage for your new leads, whether they are cold, hot, warm. Uh, in double tick, you would be able to directly share messages without the need to import these contacts onto double tick and send them a broadcast. Instead, directly from the Google Sheet, we will be able to share or send the customers the messages using the extension. So first we are going to go to extensions, add-ons and click on get add-ons. Here we are going to search for the double tick extension, double tick WhatsApp broadcast. We need to first install, continue, select our Google account, allow permission, and the add on is now installed. Now you can go to extensions. You will be able to see the double tick WhatsApp broadcast option is now available. Click on send WhatsApp message. On the right hand panel, the tab opens with double tick to enter the API key to validate your account. You will get this API key from your double tick account, settings, developer API. Copy the key from over here and paste it. Click on set organization API key. And now you're live with the double tick WhatsApp bulk broadcast extension. Here you have the option to select the entire sheet or selected rows. In this case, we are going to click on entire sheet. Here it is important to identify which column contains the phone number of your customers. In our case, it is the B column which contains the phone number of our customers. Please ensure that the phone numbers contains the country code properly. For India, it is plus 91. First, we are going to map phone number to that particular cell. Then the customer name. In our case, A column with the header name contains the customer name. So we are going to select name. Thirdly, we need to select the broadcast channel. In our case, you would find that the column group has the broadcast channel names as A, B. So we are going to select group and click on next. Here we are going to be asked for selecting the template that we want to send and we are going to click on send message. Your broadcast has been queued successfully and will be sent automatically via your double tick app. You can check the same by going to your double tick. In the broadcast channel, you would find automatically the channels will be created with the members. And in this particular channels, the template message has already gone.